that has reset. Yeah, there it is there. So I'll pull that out. And hopefully it'll boot into grub. Okay, got some error messages there. I'm not sure what that was about. But we've got the grub menu system. I'll press enter. Yeah, it's loading kernel and yes, it's booting nicely. We've got some errors there. Read only file system for some reason. So it looks like I've got some fixes to do. I'm not sure why that happened. Let's try rebooting again. See, see what happens. There was some error messages that came up. I'll see if I can pause the screen. Error to read or write outside the partition. That's interesting. Okay, so there is something I need to fix here. So let's see if we can log in and mount the root uh, minus o remount comma read write. Okay, I wonder if it's anything to do with that, maybe. That's a possibility. As I said, I've never used these before, so that could be why this has happened. Um, let's try doing, have we got GP, no, we didn't install GPM, that's a shame. Uh, dev NVMe 0, N1, P1, no, P3, so I'm going to mount the root, partition onto root, and mount it as read-write, that's worked, that's good. So, I'm now going to... Emerge GPM, which is the uh, text-based mouse cursor. Okay, that's good. And next I'm going to add it to the startup script. So RC update add GP, GPM to default should be the right place for it. And I'll start it manually now because it won't have started obviously. GPM start. So if I move the mouse around, yeah, there's the cursor, so that's good. So now I can do block ID, is it block ID? Yep. And what I'm going to do is put in these UUIDs. I think this might be the problem. So I'll start with the EFI partition. So edit, etc, fs tab. So I've never used these before, so I'd need to find out exactly why that hasn't worked and what I need to do uh, to fix that. Uh, I don't think I need these quotes. So that's that one. Then I need to swap partition, which is that one. Oh, no, I've done that wrong, haven't I? That's the, I just realized that's the root I've just put in there. That's the root partition. I've done it wrong again. Insert, paste, that's better. So the EFI partition will be that one there. Paste 
paste that in. Let's try and line these up a little bit. And then the swap partition is P2. Okay, I've just tied up these quotes. Uh, oh no, that's right. I'm pretty sure they're not needed. Right, so I'm going to now remount the partition read only in case there's any problems when it reboots. So mount the root read only and remount it. That's okay, and now I'm going to reboot. Right, still got an error there, I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, it's booting a lot better now. So that's clearly those um, UUIDs aren't working correctly for some reason. Like I said, I've never used them before, so I'm not sure why, why that is. If I've done something wrong, if I need to configure something else, I'm not really sure. But we're in OK now. Let's do a D message. Okay, so we need to load the firmware for the Wi-Fi. So that's, that's something to do. Um, there are separate pages with a lot more detail on the Gen 2 page. Um, adding in, for adding in things like the Wi-Fi. As you see in the microcode, there are several pages for that, depending on, there's an overall one. There's one for AMD, one for Intel. Uh, there's lots of separate pages to do that so um, yeah it's a basic installation as you've seen it works in that well we've got the, the GPN I've just installed that works the internet is obviously working because I installed GPM it went away fetched it installed it that works okay um, I've just got that initial error from the grub the looks of it that needs to be identified as to what that is. So I'll have to do a bit of research on that. 